Hey DJ, are you looking for a faster way to trigger transitions and switch scenes while you're live streaming? Today I'm going to teach you about hotkeys. Stick around. What's happening guys? This is Jason from Overcast TV and today I'm going to teach you about the magic of hotkeys. What are hotkeys? Very simply, it's just keys that you can associate to certain things to have happen uh, during your live stream just by pressing keys on your keyboard. Now, if you really want to get fancy, you can also set these things up to activate by MIDI um, or get a stream deck. We'll get into that in later tutorials, but for this, no extra equipment is needed other than your keyboard and your OBS software. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Um, the first thing you're going to look for is your control dock. So if you don't see that, I keep mine in the bottom here. Uh, it's under scene transitions and you'll see the control dock. If you don't see your control dock, it's actually really easy to find. Uh, just go up under view, go under your docs and then pull up controls just there. And uh, that should pop it up. Once your control dock does come up, go ahead and click settings. When your settings pop up, you'll notice over in the left hand margin here, there is the hotkeys area. So we will go ahead and go into there and then you'll notice I've already got a few of these things set up. So if I use the slash, it'll start or stop recording um, and then shift equals or shift minus will start or stop streaming respectively. So um, obviously you can have these things pre-configured. Now these will be alphabetically in order. First, it goes through your scenes, then it goes through groups and then it will go through individual sources. Um, so for this tutorial, what we're going to do is look to switch a couple of scenes and then also add the lower third and be able to activate and deactivate it. So I'm looking for my speaker bump and scene here, and it looks like that is already set up. So just in case, just so you know, you would go into the switch scene and then I push shift and five for this instance, because I want shift five to go there. We want shift six to delete an existing one. You can just go ahead and click that trash can. It'll remove it. But in this instance, I'm going to just redo that shift and six and then speaker bump in three shift and seven. Um, we're going to go ahead and click OK. And then I'll go ahead and switch into the scene and you can see piece of cake. We just jumped right into the scene and didn't take me a lot of extra. I just had to hit shift and six. Obviously, uh, if it's two key combinations that are a little more difficult, then you can set it up to a single combination. I do recommend using a key that you don't touch often. So if you do find that you're typing into the chat and a lot, a lot and things like that while you're live streaming, uh, something to keep in mind, probably don't want to put it on one of the keys that you're going to use a lot because you're going to do a lot of, uh, uh, unintentional scene switching if you do. So anyway, the one other thing I wanted to show you is then, um, how we can make this activate a lower third. And so first I'm going to need to add my lower third. So I'm going to go down here, click the plus, and I'm going to go add a media source. We'll go down to add existing. And where is it? This is the name of my lower third. Tell it OK. And put it down here in the corner. I'm going to go ahead and lock that. Now I'm going to go back into my settings. Back to the hotkeys. And then scroll for speaker bump in scene two here. Scene two. There we go. Speaker bump in scene two. Then I'm going to go ahead and find this and I will do shift zero to show it and shift nine to hide it. Tell it okay. And then since it's already showing, I'll go ahead and hide it first and then activate it. And you can see just like that pops out my lower third and uh, that is set to just animate off shortly. So anyway, I hope that gives you guys a great idea of what you can do to utilize hotkeys and maybe make your stream a little simpler, uh, a little more easy to control while you're DJing, especially if you get your hands on the controls and you're in the middle of a mix, it makes it a lot easier to just reach down and tap a button than it does uh, to have to dig for it and fish around in studio mode, et cetera, et cetera. So that is all for today. I hope this one was super interesting for you. If you guys are interested in any of the visuals that are in this pack, head over to overcast.tv. Um, check down below and uh, follow me on all the social media. All of the info is there. Be sure to like and share if you are on Facebook. Be sure to like and click the little bell notification if you were watching this on YouTube and if you were watching this on Instagram, save this thing for later because you're going to want to have these tricks in your arsenal as you go forward. Till next time, guys, this is Jason from Overcast TV and I will see you online. Take it easy.